It is the European Union's airborne cavalry. It is an air fighter that can reach speeds of 2390 kilometers per hour. It is Eurofighter Typhoon. In the new episode of Militaria Military Aviation, we will examine the most powerful weapon of the European Union, the Eagle in the Sky the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet. This fourth and fifth generation fighter jet, with impressive and dizzying features, adorns the hangars of many countries and attracts the attention of many countries. Let's take a look at this marvel of technology and design, also known as Eurofighter Typhoon. Before moving on to the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter jet review, I would like to make a small reminder. As Militaria, we are trying to create interesting and remarkable content for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to support our team striving in this direction. You can also help us reach more people by liking and commenting on our content. Let's start if you are ready. Fighter jets can be considered as one of the fastest developing military equipment in the world. War is no longer a phenomenon where bullets explode in the trenches. For this reason, not only those in the trenches are affected during the war, life behind the trenches is also affected by the devastation of war. Thousands of cities, thousands of villages and thousands of points. Many of these have been badly damaged during an active war, and they continue to do so. One of the most important reasons for this is undoubtedly warplanes and their ever-increasing capacity. The masses of metal falling from the sky, kilometers high, are changing the fate of the world. They both defend and attack. Eurofighter fighter jets are one of these destiny-changing engineering marvels. So why are Eurofighter fighter jets so popular and in demand? Let's take a look together. In fact, the majority of European Union member states use the Eurofighter fighter jet. Eurofighter fighter jets are based on the designs of the French Dassault Rafale and Russian MiG-1.44 aircraft. Although the Eurofighter fighter jets are based on these aircraft, they have one feature that makes them stand out from them. Agility and advanced technology. Although these fighter jets are also very advanced, Eurofighter fighter jets stand out even more. Eurofighter fighter jets made their first flight in 1994. The entry into service was in 2003. As far as is known, there are currently 570 Eurofighter fighter jets in the world. The Royal Air Force, the German Air Force, the Italian Air Force and the Spanish Air Force use these fighter jets worldwide. The production process of Eurofighter fighter jets actually started in 1970 with the European Combat Aircraft Program of Germany, Britain and France. However, this project was cancelled in 1981 due to production difficulties. The first Eurofighter fighter jet, which was then produced under the leadership of Germany, Britain and Italy, was completed in 1994. The first flight took place in the German state of Bavaria. The length of the Eurofighter fighter jets is approximately 15.96 meters. The wingspan is 10.95 meters. Eurofighter fighter jets have two Eurojet EJ200 engines. When the aircraft reaches maximum speed, the highest altitude it can reach is approximately 2495 kilometers. At sea level, this speed is about 15 to 30 kilometers. The maximum range of Eurofighter fighter jets is 2,900 kilometers. This is a feature that makes Eurofighter fighter jets stand out among their contemporaries. Eurofighter fighter jets can reach an altitude of approximately 315 meters per second 
or 62,000 feet per minute. Eurofighter fighter jets have proven themselves at many points. In addition to European countries, it is claimed that some Middle Eastern countries also use these fighter jets. Although Eurofighter fighter jets are a marvel of production, they are of course not unrivaled. On the one hand, there is the F-35, the world's first fifth-generation fighter jet, and on the other hand, there is Turkey's Khan, which is also developing its own fighter jet. Moreover, the threat very close to Europe makes these jets even more important. Russia, of course. In our previous videos, we discussed the Russian fighter jet Su-57, which you can watch in the upper right corner. Eurofighter fighter jets are still stronger than Russian fighter jets, according to experts. However, the Russian war industry is constantly evolving. From this point of view, Eurofighter fighter jets may not be enough for the defense of Europe. This is where the F-35 fighter jets come in. Many European countries are re-equipping their air fleets, which are dominated by Eurofighter fighter jets with F-35 fighter jets. As the world prepares for a global war every day, Eurofighter fighter jets are of vital importance for Europe. Although the countries in question have built a very strong air force with these fighter jets, it is still not enough. However, it should also be noted. The Eurofighter fighter jets are still a very powerful fighter jet no matter how inadequate they are. Many countries, including Turkey, which is developing its own fighter jet, the CAN, are demanding Eurofighter fighter jets. Eurofighter fighter jets will continue to protect Europe's skies for a long time to come. A strong air force is the most important defense force a country can have today. Europe has filled this gap with Eurofighter fighter jets for many years. Likewise, according to some sources, the Ukrainian government has requested Eurofighter fighter jets from European states. For this reason, it was reported that Russian leader Vladimir Putin was planning to take urgent measures. In these days, when unmanned aerial vehicles have developed and ushered in a new era, Fighter jets are still of great importance. It is possible that this importance will remain for a long time, because fighter jets still give confidence to many people and countries, just like in the case of the Eurofighter. This concludes our report on Eurofighter fighter jets. What do you think? Do you think Eurofighter fighter jets are enough for Europe's security? Would you like to see Eurofighter fighter jets in your country's air fleets? What do you think about the future of Eurofighter fighter jets? Share with us in the comments.